Welcome, welcome everyone to episode 1 of my Road to Max Combat series. Super pumped for the series, it's going to be filled with tons of slayer, tons of bossing, some sick drops, of course some clues, and we're going to throw in some really fun side goals as well. So all these goals and side goals will be on the screen right now. So we're going to be starting off with some smaller goals uh, to make my Slayer life a lot easier and more efficient, such as Bone Crusher, Gem Bag, uh, Karasi Sword for melee, and uh, some Super Antifires. So let's get straight into it. And the first task of the series is going to be Necreals. So let's go slice those up, some good melee XP, and then after that I think I'm going to go for Karasi Sword because T70 is just not cutting it anymore. All done with that task, we got some decent elks and some collectibles with the boots, uh, some nice herb seeds, and two RDT drops actually. So let's get another task here. Gains are being made right now. Oh, grab some Claire on 50 mil mage. Yup, I'm a quest noob. Is <laughs> wanted done, so now we can finally start on the void quest. So I can now start quiet before the swarm when I can find it and then two more and they'll have it and there is quiet before the swarm completed and I think I'm gonna get a level yes 79 strength very nice lines up with my attack now and there is a void dance completed and oh 50 commendations from this quest so that'll go towards my full set of void I believe I just need the chest plate and uh, the range hood and then I think I have full and then I just need to buy those packs for superior. Yes, been grinding this out tonight. We're finally done the void stairs back. We got our elite void knight top. Very nice and two bucks of equilibrium which I believe we can use. Yes, we can use those on prayer. Very nice and 50k each. This should get me a level and uh, we'll use this one on prayer and yes there we go 78 prayer and let's put this void knight top on Ooh, very nice okay let's buy my first superior void patch here uh yes 200 points that's fine and we're gonna go ahead and use this on my top there we go, Superior Elite Void Knight Top. So let's put all this stuff on and see what it looks like. Okay, let's put... Uh... Ooh, fancy looking. Ooh, I'm looking badass now, look at that. And 98 Constitution, very nice. I'm going to try to get defense ranged and HP all to 99 at the same time. Gargoyles are all down. We are slowly uh, growing our cash stack again. 1.4 mil. Uh, those always help. Uh, we've got some very nice bars as well and 22 blue charms. Not too bad. First clue scroll of this series. Don't fail me now, Iron Jesus. Oh, uh, really not skipping tickets. 600k value. I'm coming for you, Krill. Give me some armor. Up to almost 5,000 reward currency. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the Tusca Torso. And let's go ahead and put that on. T75, 260 armor. Let's compare that to my old gear, 226 armor. So it's quite a bit of an upgrade. And now... Ooh, all I need to get is another about 1,000, and then I will have a full set of War Priest. As just about to start my Zami task, how many greater demons do we have? We have 227. Uh, it's going to take me quite a few trips, but uh, let's start the first trip and see if we get any items. Hey guys, we got a drop, and of course I get the War Priest top when I just bought the Tusca top. I was really pumped for a sec. I thought it was the uh, the gown or whatever the garb. Of Zamorak, that would have been, or Subjugation. Oh, look, yeah, we just got a hard glue scroll. <laughs> Sick clip. All right, let's get back to it. Rue, you landed dimes. God damn. Okay, we got our clue scroll done, the one we got from Zami. So let's see if we can get anything going from this one. And nada, 150 law runes. That's a lot of law runes. I think that's a double drop of laws. 
And some elks, bandit camp teleports, those are always nice. Alright, let's check the kingdom. Uh, it's been quite a while again. Uh, let's see what it's on here. I know it's not the best to have it on herbs, but I need some more prayer potions and uh, some other herb lore ingredients. And I don't really need anything else at the moment, so let's collect. See what we have here. 5k maple logs, pretty good. And 40 renars for some prayer potions, 30 bird's nests. Yeah, we got a magic seed. Okay, I now have enough for Tusca War Priest legs. I'm over 2,500, so let's go ahead and buy those. And this will be my last piece of War Priest, and then I have full War Priest and three pieces of Tusca. Very nice. And 95 Mage. Thank you, Mr. Krill. Now give me some drops, please. Samurakian Spear, and whatever that is, but we got a Zamri Spear, that's so sick! Two-handed 75 weapon, I, uh, I already have one-handed, but that's so awesome. Also now do Corp, and uh, eventually upgrade that into uh, a Chaotic Spear. Super hyped right now. Hey guys, two kills later, Hood of Subjugation, that's so sick. Wow, we're getting some crazy luck. Oh yeah guys, thanks for the grats. Oh, and a God Sword Shard one. Man, this trip has been crazy. So good. That trip though, Hood of Subjugation, Zami Spear, and God Sword Shard number one among other alcohols and some nice uh, Zemi wines. Alrighty guys, we got our next casket. I got my ring on wealth on this time, so let's see what's inside this one. Ooh, Goulet just, Goulet, sorry, just got a uh, Zemrak hilt. Uh, so let's open this hard casket. And not too much of anything. Again, Bandit Camp teleport's not bad. Next loot, let's see. Ooh, 30 runet or nice. Next loot, Royal Park, come on. Ooh, cash is always nice. Okay, next loot here. Yes, Royal Bolt Stabilizer and 150k. Very, very nice. Next loot. Something good. Magic Seed. Interesting. I don't know if that's in the normal uh, drop table. <laughs> huh. Hey, I just got a uh, four Magic Seed RDT from QBD. Or blue. We get a Rune Plate Body, Rune Plate Legs, and some other stuff. We gotta reroll those, so let's go ahead and use it. And a H3 plate skirt. <laughs> I'm, I actually don't know if I have that already, but I haven't gotten a good item in a while. So let's see if we have this item already. H3, oh, plate skirt H3, huh, I see. So I'm still missing H5, I think, because there's an H5 helm, so there must be H5 legs. <laughs> so, uh, my H heraldic collection is uh, growing. Much as I love hoarding my adamant and coal, I'm gonna have to use it for a uh, burial armor daily. So let's go ahead and deposit all these and finish up this daily. All done with that daily, so let's hand this in. See if we get some nice XP. 32K, not too bad. Let's see what, what we get in here. 41 runite ore, that's quite a few actually. So let's dump this all in, back in here. All my adamant ore is actually in that machine still. It looks kind of kind of lonely right there. <laughs> just one, so I might go grab that again. Just because I'm a hoarder. Uh, so let's go back and get some more Tusker fragments. Alrighty, we got our next casket. So let's see what is inside this one. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and if you did enjoy, feel free to hit that like button down below. So we're getting through our small side goals now, and hopefully for next episode we can get straight into the Hardcore Slayer.